ब्यूरा सपनों की Welcome to Edua. I'm Devesh and I'll be your mentor for physics. In this chapter we'll study about the physical world. Well in this chapter we'll discover how we'll proceed with our discussion of physics. What is physics? How we'll formulate physical laws and so on. So when I ask that what is physics, it is essentially a deep philosophical question. because since time immemorial people have tried to figure out how the world around them really works for example right now you're sitting in your home probably and you have lots of devices working around you you look up you have a fan probably or an air conditioner in your kitchen you have your refrigerator outside there are vehicles moving around if you look to the horizon you can see the big beautiful sky probably along with the sun so you are completely filled with lots and lots of physical phenomena going around you and if you bother to try and explain those phenomena try and explain the working principle of those that is essentially what we do in physics we look at the world around us and try and guess the rules on which the world around us functions it can be dated back to the times of great philosophers copernicus to aristotle and initially it was really absurd because it was thought that earth is the center of the universe and everything revolves around us but eventually galileo who was the inventor for telescope he was the first one to suggest that no earth is not the center but rather the planets go around the sun revolving in motion he was also discarded from the society because of this strange idea because that clearly went against the idea of the bible so from historical times people have just put forward their ideas great philosophers and great minds have just wondered how to explain the reality of the world around them so this question about what is physics is a lot more philosophical than you might think because whenever people try to answer the questions about how the world around us functions we also got to questions like why are we here how did we get here what is the purpose of life and is there anything called god who created god so essentially every question that you might ask about the world around us the universe in which we live in has to do with physics but that's about a lot of philosophical thinking it eventually evolved into what is known as modern scientific thank you now let me tell you something about that i'll give you an example of a danish man tycho brahe now tycho brahe was a rich man he owned an island and he received the permission of the king to study the movement of stars so what did he do basically he deployed a lot of people along all the corners of the island that he owned and created observatories to observe and record the motion of the stars and celestial bodies now this is the most beginning of what is known as scientific thinking recording observations and then reaching at a conclusion based on those observations so he did quite a meticulous job for many years he studied and recorded and created huge amount of data on the motion of stars and celestial bodies recording observations studying them analyzing them and then arriving at conclusions now actual modern thinking lies a step beyond that you have to match those conclusions with experiments he arrived at a very great revelation while sitting under an apple tree as you would have famously heard he saw an apple fall down from the apple tree and then he wondered why the apple fell to the ground of course he thought that something might have attracted it then he hovered above and he saw the moon and he asked the same question again why isn't the moon falling down he kept on asking that same question until he finally realized and had an amazing revelation what is that that the moon is actually 
falling towards the earth every second. And he used this data because we could calculate the distance of the earth and the moon. So he knew that if it's sort of going around in a circle, let us assume the case for that. For simplicity, 